All right, we are recording. All right, so I invite you as we open to mute yourself and turn off the video until we have finished this time of Lectio Divina. You may want to have a pen and paper or a journal nearby. And I will need four readers today. Do I have any volunteers to read for me? I can read, Jennifer. Thanks, Jen. You'll be reader one. I'll be reader two. All right, thanks, Mike. Reader two. I'll do one. Okay, Paul. thanks, Paul. I'll do one. Thanks, Harrison. All right, got our four readers. <clears throat> Let us open with prayer. Creator of this beautiful and vast universe, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your generative power that we may not fall away from you nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our beloved Redeemer and friend. Amen. Our first movement is preparation. We will now come fully into the present moment. God is present with you. Give your consent to being present with God for this encounter. Express your willingness or your willingness to be made willing to hear from God in these moments by repeating after me. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. Your servant is Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. After each encounter, you may respond to a question using the chat box feature if you choose. All right. For our first encounter, we were we will open ourselves to listen, to see, to hear, and to feel. And as, we, as Jan reads this first time, I would like you to listen for the word or phrase that speaks to you. Go ahead, Jan. Listen, my people, to my teaching. Tilt your ears toward the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a proverb. I'll declare riddles from days long gone ones that we've heard and learned about, ones that our ancestors told us. We won't hide them from their descendants. We'll tell the next generation all about the praise due the Lord and his strength, the wondrous works God has done. What word or phrase speaks to you? I invite you to express any words or phrases using the chat box. Some of the phrases that we're hearing are to listen, tell the next generation, listen my people, tilt your ears, wondrous. For our second encounter, we will Discover a feeling that comes up as we read it again. <clears throat> Mike, would you read us, read it for the second time? Yes. Listen, my people, to your te to my teaching. Tilt your ears toward the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a proverb. I'll declare riddles from days long gone. Ones that we've heard and learned about. Ones that our ancestors told us. We won't hide them from their descendants. We'll tell the next generation all about the praise due the Lord and his strength, the wondrous works God has done. What feeling comes up as you encounter this text? <clears throat> I invite you to share any feelings using the chat box.
Some of our feelings are excited, praise, connection, sharing, attentive, curious. As we encounter the text again, <clears throat> I invite you to listen for a question that you might have for God or for the text or the author of the text. Paul, would you read our text for the third time? Listen, my people, to my teaching. Tilt your ears towards the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a proverb. I'll declare riddles from days long gone ones that we've heard and learned about, ones that our an ancestors told us. We won't hide them from their descendants. We'll tell the next generation all about the praise due to the Lord and, and his strength, the wondrous works God has done. And by, <clears throat> I invite you to share any questions you might have for God or for the text using the chat box. Some of the questions we have are, what are the riddles? Why do you talk in riddles? How are riddles related to praising God? Are these like the parables of Jesus? For our fourth encounter, we will ponder, well, we will express or listen for what does this text invite us to ponder? What does this text invite us to ponder? So Harrison, if you would read the text for our fourth encounter. Listen, my people, to my teaching. Tilt your ears towards the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a proverb. I'll declare riddles from days long gone, ones that we've heard and learned about, ones that our ancestors told us. We won't hide them from our descendants. We'll tell the next generation all about the praise due to the Lord and his strength, the wondrous works God has done. What does this text invite you to ponder? I invite you to share any pondering using the chat box. Some of the things we are pondering uh, are how important is it to tell children the stories? How do we distinguish the wondrous works of God? How will the riddles make a difference in my life? How are the Proverbs and riddles related to what we already know about God's works? Who are their descendants? How can we hear all the stories? For our next encounter, Ask God, what is it in my life today that needs to engage this? And in the silence that follows the reading, I invite you to pick up your pen and explore thoughts, perceptions, and impressions by writing or drawing or mapping ideas. Perhaps you might ask yourself, 
where am I in this reading? What do I hear as I imagine myself or hear these words addressed to me? The reading. Listen, my people, to my teaching. Tilt your ears towards the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a proverb. I'll declare riddles from days long gone, ones that we've heard and learned about, ones that our ancestors told us. We won't hide them from their descendants. We'll tell the next generation all about the one, all about the praise due the Lord and his strength, the wondrous works God has done. Our next encounter is our response. What is my response to God based on what I have encountered? As we engage it again, listen for your own deepest and truest response. Allow your prayer to flow spontaneously from your heart as fully and as truly as you can. Now you enter into a personal dialogue with God sharing with God the feelings that have been aroused in you, feelings such as love, joy, sorrow, anger, repentance, desire, need, conviction, or consecration. <clears throat> we pour out our hearts in complete honesty, especially as reading this has probed aspects of our being and doing in the midst of various issues and relationships. Notice any sense that God is actively inviting you to act or to respond in some way through this encounter. You might find it helpful to write or draw or to open your hands in a posture of receiving. <clears throat> Hear the reading. Listen, my people, to my teaching. Tilt your ears towards the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with the proverb. I'll declare riddles from days long gone, ones that we've heard and learned about, ones that our ancestors told us. We won't hide them from their descendants. We'll tell the next generation all about the praise to the Lord and his strength, the wondrous works God has done. For our last encounter, we will rest in God. You have given your response its full expression. Now move into a time of waiting and resting in God's presence. Hear the reading. Listen, my people, to my teaching. Tilt your ears toward the, mouth, the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a proverb. I'll declare riddles from days long gone, ones that we've heard and learned about, ones that our ancestors told us. We won't hide them from their descendants. We'll tell the next generation all about the praise do the Lord and his strength, the wondrous works God has done. Our last movement is resolve. Incarnatio. To incarnate is to live out the word of God. If you have a resolution, 
a way you feel called to live out this encounter's wisdom, feel free to share it using the chat box. <clears throat> I'll read the thing one last time and you can type any resolutions you have. Listen, my people, to my teaching. Tilt your ears toward the mouth, the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a proverb. I'll declare riddles from days long gone, ones that we've heard and learned about, ones that our ancestors told us. We won't hide them from their descendants. We'll tell the next generation all about the praise due the Lord and his strength, the wondrous works God has done. If you have any resolutions, feel free to share it using the chat box. Some of our resolutions are to work on the riddles in my life, open my eyes to the wondrous works, listen and share the stories, share the good news. How do I determine which riddles are appropriate? Let's emerge from this place of personal encounter with God to rejoin life in the company of others. As we return to the day, we will carry this encounter with God with us and live it out wherever the day takes us. And we will be led deeper and deeper into its meaning until it begins to live in us and we in flesh this word in our lives, homes, and community. I will close us in prayer, <clears throat> and after that, I invite you to turn on your video to greet one another. Let us pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen.